Hello. Oh, hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm fucking good. What are you doing? Oh, not bad. Just laying here watching TV. Oh, when, when I sent. Oh, when the fuck I sent your old ass those fucking videos of me talking? Why didn't you fucking say something? What's that? When I sent your old ass those videos of me talking to you, why didn't you fucking say something? About. I don't know that you even got the fucking videos. That's why I don't send you videos, because you never, like, say, like, oh, you know, that was nice or anything. No, I like them. Are you fucking sure? Yep. Okay, good, because it's fucking, it's fun. I made a bunch because, listen, they did you hear what I said in the video? Yeah, well, the one you said you're, you're uh, known at drug you away for easter yeah they she dragged me all the way to fucking niagara falls i'm in a fucking hotel now man oh yeah yeah <laughs> oh where is she where the fuck do you think she went to what the casino yeah that's where they fucking went they went to gamble and shit and left you with it left you in the mo in a, oh wow yeah well the reason why she made me come here because she said She's like, I don't want you to be by yourself on fucking holidays. Oh, okay. So I, I, rather than leaving you at home where you're comfortable in your own room, she's going to drag you away to Niagara Falls to a motel and then leave you in the motel. I mean, the room, okay, because we got like rooms that like, there's like a room beside a room with a door. Yeah, conjoining, yeah. Yeah, they got they got one of those, so I got my own fucking bed in my own room. Man, yeah. there's a fucking jacuzzi in there and everything, man. <laughs> no, that's why I don't care, man. That's why I'm not mad, because I got my own shit going on. Yeah. It's fucking pretty sweet, man. And you, and you got motel Wi-Fi. And I got the fucking... Yes, I can fucking go on the Wi-Fi and do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> you have no idea how nice it is to not have to use my data or walk yeah. all the way to fucking McDonald's. Yeah. It fucking sucks, man. And then now, the icing on the cake is that I get to talk to you. <laughs> cool. Uh, for me, I thought you were going to say the icing on the cake is, is you can order room service. Oh, they don't have that shit. What's that? They don't, this this hotel ain't that fucking nice. Oh, they are. Every motel has room service. Not this one, man. What do you think I'm going? I'm not going to order like some lobster bisque or something. <laughs> like they're not going to have that. They might have like water, oranges, and like stupid shit. They have no menus or anything. Oh yeah. Yeah. They got no restaurant in the motel. Oh, that was closed all fucking day. Oh okay. Yeah. But I'm happy that I get to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> so what'd you do all day? Um, I just hung out, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, I mean, it was a long drive for us to get here. Yeah. Like, she made me get up at, like, fucking 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. And like we got ready, we packed stuff, we got we fought a little bit, and then once we, then once we got going, um, we didn't leave until I think like one o'clock. Right. And then we got here at like fucking I don't know four o'clock because we had to go pick him up and shit. Yeah. So it was like one o'clock. Got up at seven. Fucking got here at like. Or we 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 got up at like seven. We left at like one o'clock, and then we got here at like four o'clock. And then after that, then I don't. Know, they like they're like he's like, oh let's go to the casino because it's down the street. And I was like, fucking you guys are fucking whack, man. <laughs> no man, like, fucking that's just fucking sus as hell, man. I don't fucking understand why people go to that casino to waste the monies. Yeah, well, some, some, I mean, sometimes you get lucky, but that's all it is, is luck. Yeah, but what happens if you don't get lucky and you spend $500? Exactly. Then you're fucked. Then you're broke and 
Then you're hanging on the side of your best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. Yeah. That yeah. song is from like 1900. So yeah, no, I got back up here uh, today around noon. I had to go. I had to go back home and fix something at one of the other stores back home. Oh, have you? So, have you seen, um, there's like a movie called Robbed of Vigilance Comic. What is it? V Vegans. Veganance? Have you seen like a Veganance comic? It's like, nope. it's it's been everywhere. I can't. Uh, what, okay. What is the word V-E-N-G-E-A-N-C-E? -E Vengeance. What the fuck does that mean? Vengeance is it, it's almost like somebody getting revenge. So robbed of veganence. Ven uh, robbed of vengeance. Vengeance. That's a comic, and everyone's been talking about that? Uh-huh. Did you hear about that? Nope. Does that sound like it'll be a good comic? I don't know. Do you read comic books? Nope. I used to. Oh. Sorry, I cut way, you off. Way, way back in the day. You know, back when, you know, you know, Marvel comics and all that were out big. Yeah? Oh, uh, man. I used to have all kinds of comic books, like from Spider-Man and uh, Superman, Batman. Spider-Man. Okay, listen. I like Spider-Man. But you know who I like even more, and I told you this before? I like the Iron Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron Man's the best. Yeah. Because my I, favorite... What? Before that, I used to um, have uh, um, Ultraman. Oh. what do you, is that the Simpsons? Like Radioactive Man? No. You know who Radioactive Man is on the Simpsons, right? Yep. Bart uh, Simpsons talks about him a lot. Yeah. What's Vemo? Oh, no... Venom, Ven, Venom, 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 Ven, fuck man, I'm stupid, I can't fucking read today, <laughs> I'm sorry, I sound stupid, <laughs> oh, that's okay, everybody messes up on words once in a while, oh, I know, so, yeah. I don't know, whatever, tell me about your day, man, my day, oh, I just got back here, and I went in and put a coat of paint on our ceiling here at the store, yeah, Yep. Oh. And then, uh, uh, then I came into my trailer here and made my dinner. Yeah, man, I like that trailer that you got. That looked so, um, like, that looked so freaking cool, man. What was that? I'm saying that I, um, did I like your trailer because it's so cool? Yeah. Like I, I, I was like, um, like the, I like the color of it. I like what it looks like on the inside. There's like lots of space. Like you uh -huh. can like make food. You can like do whatever you need to in there, man. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Don't fucking electrocute yourself now, man. I'm just putting stuff away. Oh, what are you putting away? Oh, my dishes. Uh, no dead bodies? My dishes from dinner. No, no. Oh. Uh, just putting my dinner dishes and stuff away. Oh, yeah? yeah. That's it? Yeah, yeah, that's all done. That's all you did was just chill in the motel room all day. You didn't go anywhere. Well, I went for a walk. I sent you those videos too. Didn't you get them? 
Yeah, I got the two, yeah. No, I sent you like eight videos, man. I sent you a shitload uh, of... I only got two videos. Oh, yeah, I'll try to resend them again. <laughs> yes, I did. I did, actually. I did. Oh. Have you ever played something called Pokemon? Called what? Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what that is? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? I told you I was putting stuff away. Do you want to fucking let me go and talk to me later since you're so fucking busy, Mr. Busy? No, 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 no. Mr. Fucking Busy over here? What the fuck? Keep talking. Fuck, listen, <laughs> listen, brother. I talk more when I'm taking a shit than you do putting shit away. So I don't know if who's putting up, putting down. But you better open your mouth and start talking there, brother. Well, I'm not taking a shit, you know. I'm just putting stuff away, that's all. Well, you're not taking a shit because you're full of shit. So you're not, you know. Yeah. That's your new nickname. Mr. Busy. Yeah, because my phone usually goes off every time I get a text message or a video or whatever. Okay, so tell you what. When I get off the phone with you, I'm going to resend the videos that I sent you before. of me Because I went out for a walk and I came back. I made a video for you. I'm going to send it to you. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. Hang on. Let me see. Yeah, I only got the one, and then one, that's it. I got one video. Oh. oh it, won't, it won't play because I'm, it won't play because I'm on the phone, so that's one oh. where you were laying on your bed. Yep. And then the second one you just sent me and that's where you were uh, just before you said sorry i i called i called mistake no this the other the other video that i sent you was me when i said that i was thought i was taking a selfie but i was taking a video and then i sent it to you yeah yeah that's that's the last one that i got yeah those i are only the... got the two videos okay so i'll just resend the other ones to you yeah okay Whoa. Whoa. You just soaked up. What was that? I was making fun of you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's been a long day. Well, I can tell. I didn't get to sleep till about uh, uh, 3.30 in the morning, and then I was back up at 7. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. Had to go fix a dough stretcher at one of the shops. And then once that was done, then I had to go to Home Depot and pick up a bunch of paint and stuff. And then I had to drive here. So how are you doing now, brother? So, well, I'm tired, but that's why, that's why I took a nap. Yeah. Ugh. You got to be careful, though, because at your age, taking a nap means sleeping all fucking day. So you better be careful. You better be careful of what? And you get fucking deaf as you get older. I'm saying that when you get to be your age, taking a nap sometimes turns into sleeping all day. Just like at your age, taking a fart sometimes is a mistake and you take a shit instead. So you gotta be <laughs> that's careful. Called, that's called a shirt. Yeah, you gotta watch it with all that prune juice. Mm, prune juice. I, I don't drink prune juice. Oh, I'm sorry. Calm down drink, with your fucking I drink, Metamucil. I drink cranberry juice. Well, what do you got, a fucking UTI? Yeah. The fucking bacteria's going on? What the fuck's going on? No, cranberry juice is really good for your uh, um, arteries. Well, okay, that's a good idea. Maybe I should get my, maybe I should get some of that shit. Yeah. Good for your arteries. That uh, pomegranate, 
uh, raspberry and strawberry. If you mix them all together, it's really good for your arteries and it's also uh, cleans you out too. Oh. Yeah. What kind of music do you like to listen to? Everything. Oh. I, I'm a, I'm a, I, I kind of like mix it up all the time. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? 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 My, my brother always looks at me like I'm crazy because one minute I'll be listening to country and next minute I'll be listening to uh, pop um, or uh, rock and roll. And then he's like, and then I'll listen to some rap and he's like, well, what the hell? You, you make up your mind what music you want to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I, just, like, I just look at him and go, what's wrong with a little bit of mixture? Right? Yes. Yeah. You like you like different stuff. Everybody likes different shit. Yeah, well, him, he's the type of person, he puts his radio on one station and that's it. Yeah? Have you ever watched a program called Starsky and Hutch? What is that? That's I know about that. That's from like fucking 1950, isn't it? No, 70s. Okay, well it's close enough. That's let's fuck. What the fuck? They, they, they did a remake of it a few years ago. Oh fuck. Yeah. Why did they do that? They shouldn't have done that. Yeah. But no, I just almost finished watching the. Uh, the uh the whole program from back in the 70s yeah yep they got it on roku oh by the way what's a program i don't understand what does that mean a series tv series but that's called a tv show no 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 not the whole program the program is what they show you on like when you look at a guide you don't watch a guide. I don't look at a guide. When you go to your, basically like a TV guide that they have on on TV so that you can look and see what's on. What fucking TV do you have? I've got Roku. I've got Netflix. They've got everything on there. It tells you what's being played. Yeah, they show you a fucking square of the fucking movie cover. They don't fucking tell you yeah. a, no fucking TV <laughs> no, guide. They tell you everything about it. Yeah, but that's not you know a fucking TV guide. That's from like nineteen hundred. Yeah. That's like Seinfeld. I saw that a TV. I didn't know what a TV guide was until I watched Seinfeld. <laughs> Do you still own a TV guide? Uh, no, I got rid of all my TV guides. Oh, you better call George Costanza's dad because he's looking for his TV guide. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I remember that episode. That was fucking funny. Yeah. It was worth money, too. You ever hear of a show called Sanford and the Sun? Did you ever fucking hear of anything from the fucking year 2000 and fucking 20? What the yep. fuck is Sandy Ford's and Sons and shit? Oh, Sanford. You, you gotta watch some of the older TV shows. I watch some of the old fucking ones, but I don't watch the. And you'll laugh your you'll laugh your ass off at some of these shows. I don't watch all the geezer shows though. It's not a geezer show. You're a it's fucking a geezer. Show. You're a fucking geezer. I'm not watching that. That sounds weird. Have you weird. ever heard of a guy called Red Fox? Well, um, I know who Star Fox is from Super Nintendo. No, Red Fox. What is that? Red Fox, he's a black guy. An old black guy. Oh, that tells me so much. He's an older gentleman that happens to be black. That you tells me up, so much. If you get a chance to, just look up on YouTube, Sanford and Son. All right, I'll look that up. And just watch a little bit of one of the episodes that they that they put on. All right. Um, he's funny as hell. Is he? Then I'm gonna go and watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go and watch it. 
So did you miss me today, man? Yes, I did. How much? <coughs> I miss you. Fuck, man, you're not very good with words, are you? <laughs> you fucking suck ass. Because, like, I send you a video expecting to get something nice, and you you don't say anything. I ask you, and you're like, oh, yeah, you look nice. Like, what uh, the fuck is, oh, yeah. So what you, you mean, what you, what did you mean by I thought every day is waster? Oh, Easter, I meant to say. Because we were talking about Easter, right? I said I thought every day. Because I got lots of candy. And then you messaged me at, well, almost two in the morning. Oh, yeah. And I said, yeah, I'm awake. Oh, no, I wasn't, though. I went back to fucking sleep. Yeah. I woke, uh, the only time I message you early in the morning is when I wake up to piss or shit. Yeah. And I took yeah, a... Yeah, no, I, I thought when you, when you messaged that and I answered back, I thought you were going to call. <laughs> oh, well, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that, man. Because you don't usually message me at that time of the morning and I'm like, oh, okay, all right, well, uh, either, either he's having a good time or he not having a good time and just wanted to message to see if you got a response from me so we could call. <laughs> no, I woke up to piss and I was half asleep and I was like, let me fucking text this fucking guy. Then you answered, <laughs> but I was sleeping. So I said in my dreams, good night. <laughs> Best friends forever. Cause that's what we are, his best friends. Yeah. Did the Easter Bunny bring you anything good? Nope. Cause you're probably bad well, this year. Yeah, oh yeah, he did. He bought he brought me a bottle of uh, um, Bailey's Irish cream and a bottle of uh, black sambuca. Okay, that's not the Easter Bunny. <laughs> well, no, the Easter, the Easter Bunny made a trip to the liquor store. Listen here, fucking, fucking 405 truck driving fucking drunk motherfucker named Ray, fucking LaFleur. <laughs> Go on with your fucking self there. Your fucking 20 cheeseburgers in that fucking gargling fucking cheeseburger fucking incinerator there you got, Randy, you hairy fuck. Go on with your fucking trailer park supervisor fucking of the year award. I don't give a fuck about that. Fucking Ray going around with fucking piss jugs everywhere, flinging them all fucking places and shit. Kitty Land getting fucked up. Don't think I forgot about that with Ricky's fucking garbage land and all that fucking shit. Can't fucking believe it, man. Don't make me fucking go on. <coughs> piss bottles. You know, no. that's one thing I never, ever, ever did. It's called a piss jug, not a piss bottle. Get it fucking yeah, right. No. I never did piss bottles, never did piss jugs, anything. Well, because you're not cool. You're not cool unless you slip your bird into a fucking bottle that doesn't decompose. You fucking fire fucking good off piss in it while you're driving, and then you fucking drive that fucking dirty cocksucker out the fucking window. That's what Bubbles said. <laughs> and then you know what? Listen, shut the fuck up. And then, then, and only then you can say, so fucking way of the road, bubs. But then, oh, but then, God. hold on, but then I would turn around and say, Ray, you're not even a fucking truck driver anymore. You can't fucking say that. Fucking way the road, bubs. <sighs> Anyways, I'm done. <laughs> you sure? Oh, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> no, it was just, it was nice to be able to finally talk to you. Yeah. So what'd you have for dinner? What the fuck did I have? Oh, I had McDonald's. Oh, okay. Now let me tell you, man. You're, you're, you're a McDonald's eater. Okay. Seems like you eat, you eat Mickey D's all the time. Okay, but you're a donkey raping shit eater. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Which is fucking better here? You want to talk I, shit? I eat home-cooked meals. Yeah? Yeah. I bet you fucking do. 
Like, I had nachos tonight. Oh, listen to you. That sounds like a very typical kind of fucking unnutritious fucking meal with fucking all the cholesterol and shit in it that's going to clog oh, all your fucking yeah. arteries. Nacho chips, ground beef, and taco meat. Yo, I'm salsa, hungry. Sour bro. cream, bro. jalapenos. Yo, bro. 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 Makes a real nice mixture in the toilet in the morning. <laughs> All right, well, I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. It's not funny when someone else makes the poop joke. Oh, okay. Only you, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's fu You're fucking sick. You're a fucking sick fuck. I think tomorrow I'm gonna have steak, pierogies, and some California vegetables. Yeah? Yep. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh. After I work. Yeah. You work really hard, man. Yeah. You're going to need vacation soon. Well, I plan on it. That's why I got, that's another reason why I got the camper. Oh, so you're going to, oh, are you and Zach going to go on vacation together? No, no, no. Are you sure? I'm taking no Zach. No, you're not going to take Zach? He's not going to fucking no. massage your back like he did before? No. Nope. Not going to make me all fucking jealous and shit so I can smack the shit out of you? <laughs> nope. Fucking, you guys are weird, man. <laughs> it's not funny, man. I'm still, I don't like that guy. Yeah. Anyways, what were you saying? You're going to take the camper, and then what are you going to do? Go camping. Oh, okay. Where are you going? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking Algonquin Park. Oh. You're lucky. I wish I could go to those places. Yeah. And then my buddy's going to bring his boat up. Okay, fuck off. I hate you guys now. <laughs> no, that's not funny, man. I never get to go anywhere fun. Yeah. Now, he's just going to bring his boat up so we can go fishing. Oh. Never gotta, really understood. Catch our food. I never really understood fishing because picture it this way. You got two guys or one guy or a bunch of guys all sitting in a fucking floating raft to fucking catch fish and sometimes it takes hours to catch anything and then let's say you do then you got to fucking go through all that work to cut it up to eat it why don't you just go to the grocery store uh because because it's the grocery store has chemicals in it from being cleaned and all that stuff and it's not fresh Oh, it's not farm fresh. That's right. Uh. So by by going out and doing it yourself, it's, it's what you caught. And it's cleaned your way and cooked your way. Um, it's just better. That's it. It's just better, eh? So Yeah, it's just better. Let me, okay, let me ask you one more question. How the yep. fuck do you know they put chemicals in it? Um. Because they always do. But how do you know? Because I've seen it done. Oh, every single time? I've been in the food trade. I know what they do. That's disgusting. Why didn't you fucking tell them not to do it? Because they have to. It's the law. It's the way it, they're made to process it. Well, that's fucking gross then now, isn't it, buddy? Yep. That's fucking nasty. Well, I don't know anything, so... But anyways... I'm fucking gonna go for another walk, too, soon. Okay. No, just because it's boring here. Did you have you gone down to the falls? They didn't let me go with them. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no, I've been fucking here, man. They didn't fucking take me down there. Yeah. And they said, it's too fucking cold. We can't take you. They said, yeah. no, you can't take me, and then we'll fuck you then. Go fuck yourself. You gotta go during the, uh, um, during the odd season. 
when everything's open, like the Ripley's Museum and all that stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Because that's really where I want to fucking go. Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. They, they've got all kinds of stuff down there. Yeah? Yeah. I want to go to a bar. You want to go to a bar? Yeah, I'm going to go to a bar and I'm going to fucking ask for a fucking liquor drink. <laughs> what? And then they'll give you a glass of milk. Oh, no, I'll show them my fake ID. It'll say McLovin. <laughs> you know, chicka chicka, fake ID, fake ID. Hey, guys, look at my let, fake let, ID. Let me guess your, your fake ID's name is... McLovin. You pay attention, don't you, Grasshopper? That's what I just said. <laughs> I'm. I want to. I want to do adult stuff, man. Nah. I want to do what everyone else is doing. I'm sick of fucking being treated like a fucking baby. Yeah. No, it's not fair. Mm -hmm. Like you treat me like a baby sometimes. Uh, how, do, how do I treat you like a baby? Because you fucking do. Like, just because I'm 15 years old doesn't mean I'm a fucking bitch or something. Everyone fucking uh, talks... I don't treat you like that. No, but everyone talks down to me. They, like... They... I don't know. My mom's boyfriend did before. But, no, my Nona's boyfriend does. She's... <coughs> he's a fucking asshole. You should beat him up for me. Yeah. Uh, I don't talk down to you. Well, I mean, sometimes I feel like you do. No, sometimes I just sometimes I just have to explain stuff to you because you don't understand, and that's fine. I get that. A that's why of, I explain it. A lot of things I don't understand. Mm hmm Like this, I have one question for you. Okay. What came first? God or the world? Well, scientifically, they're saying the world. Well, what are you saying? And then God populated the earth. But then who he created didn't make God? The earth. He populated the earth. But then who created God? Mm, don't know. Oh. You know what I thought was interesting, though, is when people were trying to explain God, and then this guy was like, he's like this. Okay, so he said, he's like, everyone has this expectation that God is like a person, that if you're good, you go to heaven. If you're bad, you go to hell. So then that would be like you're on the reward systems of being on a system of fucking things like that or whatever, right? So then he uh. said that you that that wouldn't be possible because that would mean that god thinks like a human but god would have to think with like a higher being than a human so he wouldn't have an opinion to say the difference between like right and wrong because it is such an inflated um sense um of like belief or whatever but like basically this in order to be the higher power there's time, there's space, and then there's matter. And God would have to be on the outside of that. Yeah. So for him to be on the outside of that, that means that he would not... That would be an ultimate being that wouldn't think consciously like a human being. They would think like... A god. Yeah. So it's almost like they portrayed the thoughts and feelings of a human onto that. That's what it said on the podcast that I was listening to. Right. Well, I mean, it's hard to say. Uh, there's there's so many different theories. Just trying to make some shit up. And then, so and then you take a me. look back at uh, archaeologists and that there where they're finding... Um, uh, stuff from way back before man existed. Oh, yeah. That technology. Yeah. 
that we had no clue on how to make. Like the pyramids. How did they actually move all those stones? It's the aliens, man. I fucking told you. It's all to do with the fucking aliens. So that's why they popped that into there. I mean, there's all kinds of different theories. Yeah, happy fucking Easter to you, man. Yeah. So what are you going to do for the rest of your Easter? Uh, relax, watch some TV, I'll get some sleep. Hey, I got another work. question for you there, Mr. Question Answering Man. Yeah. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. No, the reason why the chicken crossed the road is because his wife left him. She decided to move across town, and she took his son with him, with her. So he had to go across the street to go pick up the kid so that he could see the kid on the weekend. So then he had to cross back, but nobody ever talks about that. This man is back and forth like you wouldn't believe it. Then there's a couple times he had to cross the street in order to get to the courthouse because he had a court date because he was trying to fight to get partial custody but she ended up getting sole custody so then when he crossed the street again he ended up getting hit by a car so then that's where the whole fable came from was why did the chicken cross the road and then he got hit that's the reason why people are saying it <laughs> yep that's it that's it is it well, that's it Oh, I know what show you can watch. Oh, for the love of fucking God. What fucking show now? Jeff Dunham. What am I, some fucking, fucking asshole that's going to lay up in fucking bed like I just broke my leg climbing a fucking tree before fucking summer starts? And I'm just going to watch whatever fucking goddamn shit comes on the shitty ass fucking cable television that has more French channels and fucking news channels and actual fucking TV shows. No, I'm not going to be that fucking guy. So why don't you take that show and shove it right up your fucking pee hole? Oh, watch Jeff Dunham. It's a good show. Okay, what's it about? It's, uh, he's a ventriloquist. Oh, that sounds like fun. I might watch that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, could yeah, I watch No, it's Jeff Dunham with oh. uh, Aqua the Dead Terrorists. Um, that sounds racist. Yep. That sounds bad. Oh, no, you'll love it. You'll love it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and then, I'm going to... And his Walter, his puppets, Walter and Peanut. Oh, like WW. And then Ahmed, uh, I forget the other one. WW. He's got five hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. WW, Willy Wonka. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Walter yeah. White. That son of a bitch has been under my nose this whole time. Yeah. Right? Yep. But yeah, that's basically what's going on with me, man. You know, you already know, stuff. you know me better than anybody. Whenever I get to talking too much, I always have something that's bothering me, so. Yeah. You already know. Yep. So when am I going to get those diaries? <coughs> uh, I still got them in my drawer. Are you sure? The diaries, yep. do they have a lock for me to have the, so, so that uh, no one will, um, like, so like, like, is there a, like a lock and a key? Yeah. So then there's like, a lock and it has a key. Oh, 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 okay. Um, uh, oh yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. You can put it in lock and key. And then, I've got and, two of them. But then no one can like read what I'm like, what I'm, you know, they can't read my shit, right? No, no, because you lock it. Okay. So they can't open the book. It's it's got a um, a wrap on it oh. that they, they that they can't open. Hey man, listen. Even if it's wrapped up, it's still only ninety nine point nine percent protects you against HIV and pregnancy. So if a condom <laughs> a condom is that shitty, you'll fucking imagine what a lock is like, man. People know how to pick locks. You know what I'm saying? Guess, like, guess then you better go on prep. What the fuck is prep? Prep is uh, HIV preventative. 
What? Yeah, they have medication now that you can take if you're sexually active that will prevent you from getting HIV. Oh. How does that work? It's just uh, it's, you can you can take you can get it in a couple different ways. There, uh, you get an injection every three months, or yeah, a pill every day. And then there's also uh, one that I believe it's a pill once a month that you take. Oh, do you take that? No, no, I'm not on it. I'm not. I'm not sexually active. But does do uh, does everybody that's doing it take those? No, not everybody. Some people can't afford it. Well, why would people take that shit? To make sure that they don't get it. There's too many people out there that are that uh, go around saying that they're clean and negative, and they're not. Oh. I get it. Yeah. Why haven't I heard about this pill, though? Well, just look it up. Nobody's ta- up. told me about just it. Just look up on the internet prep. Because my Nona normally talks to me about all kinds of condoms and stuff. She never mentioned right. to me about prep. Well, she wouldn't know about that. Why? <clears throat> Does she talk to you about, um, um, uh, how do you say, um, alternative lifestyles. What do you mean? Does she talk to you about people who are uh, bisexual, gay, lesbians, stuff like that there? Um, uh, like, we, we, like, we talked about it before, but we didn't really, like, um, she just said some shit, like, if you, if you thought like that, then she's like, she's like, um, I'd love you, whatever, fucking shit but yeah we don't like um we don't really talk like a lot about it yeah or whatever so like yeah no there's medication out there called prep which you yeah. you take and that is a hiv preventative oh it doesn't prevent all stis and stds it just prevents hiv Okay, but what does why does it have to do with this? My Nona talk to me about people that are bi and stuff. Why the fuck? Well, because that's where that's where prep comes into the um, scenario. Is because ninety percent of the time, somebody who gets HIV or AIDS is because they're having their their sex with the same sex. What do you mean? This what? What do you what do you mean? HIV and AIDS. Yeah, I, I heard about those. Are transmitted through homosexual sex. Okay, Gay but, sex. but wait a minute. The all the all the straight people can get it too. They can get it, yeah, through blood transfusions and stuff like that. There. I don't understand. Okay, listen. Help me understand. How is it that you're saying that there's a pill for people that are like, um bisexual or whatever but then you say the straight Straight people can take it too but like how is it people can take it too but I mean the chances of them getting HIV from a blood transfusion and whatnot are like non-existent anymore oh yeah yeah so most of the time it's going to be through people who are having gay sex. So, I mean, okay. So that's where prep comes into the scenario 90% of the time. But it doesn't stop people who are straight from taking it. They can take it if they want. But, okay, I don't understand what you're saying. You said... That, okay, listen, hear me out, because this is what I don't understand. You said that, like, okay, the people that are, like, the bisexuals and stuff that do that stuff, yeah. they yeah. have to take it so that when they have, you said, the sex. But then you said... They don't blood... have to take it, but they can. Okay, whatever. Can, would, should, whatever. Who the fuck cares? You said that they would, should, would, whatever. It's because of sex. Yeah. 
But then you said that the straight peoples, they take it sometimes because of tr blood transfusions. So the, the the straight people can't get AIDS? They only can get it through blood transfusions, not... No, straight people can get it from other stuff as well. Okay. I mean, they can, they can get it from... Uh, uh, tra well, transfer of blood, open cuts and sores or whatnot. Um, um. Uh, you're not going to get it from saliva. You'll get it from, um, like bodily fluids from sex. So, I mean, you can get, I mean, yeah, two straight people can get AIDS if one of them is a carrier. Yeah. So yeah, there. Like I said, there. I mean, it's not prep is not just for the alternative lifestyles. It's for heterosexual sex as well. What's a heterosexuals? The hetero heterosexual is straight people, straight sex. Are you one of the heterosexuals? Uh, no. Do you like the girls too? I'm bisexual. So you like the, you? So you're half heterosexual. Yeah. So I like girls and guys. Okay. So you're half and half. So there's heterosexual, but what's the other one? Homosexual. So you're half heterosexual and homosexual. No. 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 No, because there's there's heterosexual, homosexual. Bisexual. I'm bisexual. Okay, why do why do they come up with so many names for this shit? They make it complicated for someone that's new at it, like me. Yeah. Why do they do that? There, there's, I mean, there's all kinds of uh, different <coughs> um, uh, genders now. It's like you got pansexual, you have got. Asexual, you got... Hold on, hold on, back, back, uh, hold on, listen, shut, shut the back door and lock that fucking thing and don't let anybody in. Um, <laughs> no, hold on, what the fuck is a pansexual, like a fucking frying pan? Yeah. And an asexual, we learned about that in fucking science class, isn't that one of those bugs that has a baby with itself? No, no. What the fuck is all this shit... Who's making up all this shit? Where is this all coming from? An, ase an asexual is someone who um, is not interested in sex. They will have sex, but not not until there is a um, a strong connection. Okay, that's a good connection. thing. That's a really good fucking thing. That okay, so the so cheers to the asexuals because they're waiting for the yeah. connection. But then everyone else is just a fucking whore. Everyone else is just fucking each other based on clothing and money and fucking their their flesh. So you know what? Yeah. Cheers to the fucking asexuals. I love those people. Yeah. Uh. So hold on. Let me get this. So you're a homosexual, you're a no, fucking hetero, I'm hold bisexual. on, you're a homosexual, a heterosexual, you're a bisexual, and you're an asexual. <laughs> Have I fucking missed anything? Because you're all of those things. <laughs> and why do they got to put the word sexual at the end of every one of these? Why can't it just be, um, you're A, you're B, you're C, you're D? Yay! Why can't it be that? You're H and... <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. You're my you're my spirit animal. Because you look like a big fucking grizzly bear, you hairy fuck. Well, I did shave. Um, hello. You don't fucking send me pictures anymore, so I don't even fucking remember what the fuck you look like. <laughs> so I don't fucking know. I'm still a big bear, but yeah, you're I big. Should. You're you're a fucking big ugly fucker. I know that you fucking dirty caveman. Those fucking greasy ass fucking teeth. You take fucking logs into the forest to fucking floss your fucking teeth. You fucking Sam Wasco looking fuck. <laughs> 
Yeah. And you would have actually had a heart attack because I actually did go and get my hair cut. Okay, so listen, when we get off the fucking phone, I'm going to resend my fucking videos. You're going to fucking send me this shit you're talking about. <laughs> you just cut out. Oh, no, I was just saying I can't ask you that kind of question, but you got to you got to fucking send me the fucking pictures, new pictures of you what you fucking look like now, and then I'm going to send you a fucking couple videos of me. Uh-huh. Uh. Oh. Oh. What are you, taking a fucking shit or something? No, nope, just stretching. Fuck, that's stretching? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Sound like you just fucking came out of a fucking coma, or you just fucking came out of the fucking cave, you caveman-looking fuck, <laughs> and you fucking haven't fucking seen fucking summertime yet, so you're fucking stretching like a goddamn big, fat, ugly, fucking skinny-ass-looking bear. Oh. Oh, there's another stretch. It's almost time yeah. for you to go to bed. No, I'm just getting comfy on the couch now, that's all. Oh, you're getting all nice and comfy. You're going to relax. Yep. I wish I was there to watch movies with you. Yeah. And then eat all your food. That, that would be nice. I eat all your fucking food, man. <laughs> I swear to God, I'd eat all the food. Wait, you're not in the trailer anymore, right? Yeah, I'm in the trailer. Okay. Is there is there enough room for me in the trailer? Is there, is there what? Is there enough fucking room for me in the trailer? Of course. It's a 28-foot trailer. It's uh, huge. Could it, Do you think I could run away from you in there? Well, no, you wouldn't be able to get away from me, no. No? So I couldn't just run and get away? No. Could I hide? No. Oh. Well, you know, yeah, you could hide in the shitter. Would anybody hear me scream if I yelled in there? Outside, yeah. Okay. So then we're all good. Mm-hmm. Just, well, I don't know, man. Your name's fucking Ted, so you never know. You could be Ted Bundy. Fuck, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You kind of look <laughs> like him. And you're fucking smart like him, too, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, how do you figure I'm smart like him? I don't know, because you know every fuck, every... T okay, listen, let me ask you a question. What's the capital of Canada? What's the capital of Canada? Is Ottawa. Exactly. Fucking smart guy here. Um, yeah. How many fucking provinces are in Canada? Go. I don't know. Okay, don't fucking let me down here, man. You got British Columbia. Shit. You got Alberta. You got Saskatchewan. Come on, keep going. Yeah, I'm, I'm letting you go. No, I'm fucking, because I'm gonna. I'm not the smart one. You're the smart one. You got I'm Nova waiting, Scotia. I'm waiting for you to miss one. You got PEI. You got Nova Scotia. You got Newfoundland. You got fucking Halifax. Is Halifax part of, oh, is I just problem. fucked that up. Oh, I just fucked that up. Okay, but I'm asking you, because you're the fucking smart guy here. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was on the spot. How many territories? Okay, whatever. Fucking, I'm just, I was kidding anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I wish I was there, man. It'd be fucking cool. Yeah, it would be nice. It's, um, someday, though. Like, yeah. if we're still talking, then. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Maybe. No, we will. Why do you say maybe? I don't know, because... Tigers are fucking crazy, man. Fucking, I just saw a tiger that's crazy on TV. Um, well, I don't know, you never know, like, because we could just stop talking. Why? Why would we stop talking? We get along, right? Oh, I know, but you could end up meeting somebody or just change your mind about me or something. Yeah. No, I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not even looking for anyone. Right yeah, but now. some just, sometimes, like a guy could come up. 
doing my thing. Or a girl. You could meet a girl, and then you could like her. Why would I meet a girl? I'm just saying. I have no interest in girls at all right now. I'm just saying that, you know, keep your options open, because you could end up meeting somebody you think is cooler than me. No. So that's it. It's me, and that's it, right? Fuck everyone else. What's that? They said just, it's me, and that's it, right? Yep. Fuck everyone else. That's right. Fuck them. Get away. Back off, get your own sandwich. Right? My brother's tried introducing me to people. I just keep telling them I'm not interested. You should tell them. You should say, I've got my own man person. Yeah. He's like, I don't understand how you can do it. I'm like, how I can do what? Have sex or anything like that. I'm like, it's no big deal. Oh. Oh. You guys talk about that stuff? Yep. Oh. Yeah. So wait, do you... Does he know? What's that? Does he know? Like, do you guys like the same stuff? Does he know what? Do you guys like... Do you like the same stuff? Or like, how does that... Well, how does those conversations go? Like, you guys talk about sex or like... No, my brother's... My brother's straight. Okay, so you guys talk about... What do you talk about? But he knows he knows I'm bi. But how do but you... Like I've already told him. I said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm bi. I said, but I would say I'm more gay than I am bi. Okay, that's fine. But, like, you guys... You guys, like, go into details about stuff? Nope. Or how does that work? No, we don't get into details. No? No. Oh. But he just sees that you're lonely and that you need somebody... No, he doesn't see that I'm lonely. He just doesn't get it. Oh. And I'm just like, he's he's a person who's never been able to live on his own. Yeah. He's always had to have somebody. I believe I can fly. Woo. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. It's uh, like my son. He's the same way. Spread my wings and fly away. He can't live by himself. He's always got to have somebody there, and it just gets him into trouble. I would love to have a Subway sub right now, man. I'm hungry. <laughs> a Subway sub. Yeah. I would love to have a Subway sub. I'd like to have a girl. Yeah, I bet you would. Yep. And do you like tacos or burritos? Both. Do you like both? Yeah. Yeah, man, I believe I can fly. Yep. Yeah, like, let me tell you about a song that I know. I lace the track, you lock the flow so far, hanging on the block with dough. Notorious, they got to know that life ain't always what it seemed to be. Words can't express what you mean to me. Even though you're gone, we still a team. Through the family, I fulfill your dreams. I bet he did. Try it, black it out, but it plays again. When it comes to real feelings, hard to conceal. Can't imagine all the pain I feel. Give anything to hear half your breath, half your breath. I know you're still living your life half to death. Every breath I take, every move I make. No, that's not a good song. Oh, you keep working on it. Oh, you want me to? Oh, let me show you a new song that I just wrote. Do you want to hear my new song? Do a you? A new song that you just wrote or songs that you just mixed up? Okay, do you want to hear a fucking song that I just wrote, yes or no? Yeah. Do you want to hear the fucking song? Hello? I said, yeah. Do you want to hear the fucking song? Fucking hear you. Yes. All right. My bags are packed and I'm ready to go. 
I'm standing here outside your door. I came to just say goodbye. What's it? No, I'm just, I'm just fucking around. I'm done. I'm just fucking. Around. <laughs> so what are you doing now? Cause I'm gonna go soon. I'm gonna go watch TV. Okay, all right. No, not yet. But like, what are you doing? Oh me, I'm just laying here watching TV and that. Oh, what are you watching on TV? Uh, the last episode of uh, Starsky and Hutch. Oh. And then, uh, then I'm not sure after that. Oh. I'll take a look and see what's on Netflix. Yeah, I just want to put my hands around your fucking throat and start fucking choking until I choke the fucking living life out of you because there ain't no fucking existence anymore. Oh, oh, because I'm going to jump off a bridge into a fucking pond and break both my legs, but I'll be the bionic man because I'm the million dollar baby. Ain't no one looking out for me because I'm like fucking the crusader that's going to come in like the renegades, the renegades, renegades. I'm going to jump in a car. Jump on the fucking Taliban fucking highway, go a fucking thousand miles an hour, just fucking blow through your fucking house like a fucking aeroplane, aerocraft, but no one will fucking find me because I didn't exist, because I wasn't here, because I was on the FBI's most wanted list, because I slit, I sing with a lisp, slisp, slisp. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it, man. Okay, all right. Well, if you want, you can, if you feel like it, you can call me later. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, the Mental Health Fund. Yeah. That's cool. Right? The Mental Health Fund. Yeah. For my mental health. Yeah. I don't really know what that means, though. I know it's stuff to do with your brain, but... Well, yeah, it's for people who suffer from depression and uh, anxiety. You caused me a lot of anxiety. Nine times out of ten, anybody who suffers from depression has anxiety. The two of them are linked. Oh, yeah? Yep. All right. Fucking. We're getting pretty tired now, I think. I think I just... Yeah. I think it's time for a nap. No, not for me. Oh, uh, you're like the Energizer Bunny. Yep. You're I'm, just... I'm re-energized, so. How the fuck are you re-energized? <laughs> because I took a nap. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. So when you sleep, do you cuddle the pillows like I do? Yep. Oh, so everyone does that? I've got a I've got a body pillow that I cuddle. Well, do you have a name for the pillow? No. Nope. I have a name for mine. Oh yeah. My pillow's name is Steve. Yeah. And when I cuddle my pillow at night, I'm like, "Come here, Steve." Because <laughs> it sounds like I'm calling like a kitty or something. Like, "Come here, Steve." Yeah. Come here, kitty. Psst, psst. Come here, Steve. Uh, do you like French toast? Do I like what? French toast? Yes, yeah. I do. Okay. Yep. Okay, cool. I love I love French toast. Okay, cool. Yep. If you could cook me food right now, what would you make me? Um... Well, something simple would be mac and cheese. Since you don't like shrimp, I wouldn't make that for you because you don't like shrimp. Oh. I don't. I don't know why. Oh. Shrimp is good for you. You know what else is good? What's that? You know. You want to know what else is good? What's that? I had a cat before, and I used to call him Bill. Uh-huh. His nickname was Shitty Bill. Yep. It all started because he shit one time, and it got all on the fur in his ass. So then I just, I started calling him Shitty Bill. I'd be like, come here, Shitty. Yep. 
He's fucked up. Why do you like talking to me, man? I'm fucking weird. That or that or oh, I know. It's fucking weird. Uh, hey, You're why do you, why listen? Why do you like talking to me? Cause like I'm fucking weird, man. I don't know why anybody would like me. Why do you say that you're weird? You're not weird. I'm fucking weird, man. Look at all the shit that I come up with. Who comes up with this shit? You have just, you just have different interests, that's all. We're talking about shit and piss. That's a fucking different interest. The Jesus Christ, I think I'm going to work in a doctor's office collecting piss and shit from people. Usually when you start talking like that and and stuff like that, it's because you have something you want to say, and but you just can't for some reason you just can't come to be come around to talk about it. Well, um, what do you mean? Just like before, things are bothering you that you just don't know how to talk about yet. Remember I told you before how you know me better than everybody? Yep. You always know me better than everybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Uh, nobody else would have seen that. Well, no. It's like I've told you before. This is it. I don't care when it is. If you're feeling down and you need to talk, I, I you, know. Know my, you know my number. I know. No, I, 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 I know. I know. Yeah. I, I know. I know. I know. I mean, like, where do I start, though? Like, I got so many little things that are bugging me. But, like, one of the things is, like, I don't know. No, oh, just a lot of stuff. What's bugging you? Actually, nothing's bugging me right now. You know? Everything, everything is good for me. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I'm... I'm I'm in a good place right now. Yeah, everything's yep. pe everything's peachy. Yep. Oh, that's good. That's really good, man. Yeah. No, things were a little rough for a while there, and I finally got recuperated all the money that I lost and. So I finally got my checking and savings accounts all back to where they were. Boy, what happened to your money? Uh, my lawyer that I had to hire. Remember I told you about my court case? What are you talking about? I had to go to court. That's why I said I had to I I had to keep my nose clean. Okay, what the fuck are you talking about? I know that you fucking had problems, but like a long time ago. Yeah, but yeah, because I got charged with sexual assault. You got charged with sexual assault. What are you talking? About? Okay, you didn't tell yeah. me that. That's that one I told you about where I got charged with sexual assault of a minor. You. Okay, but that was like a million years ago. No. That wasn't. I just got that court case just got done in August. No, I know. I remember we talked about it, but like... Yeah. Um, so I had to... That was that was $30,000 that I had to pay. Oh, so that's why you're so weird um, with me? Is well, that... Is, yes, that's why I'm, I'm, very, I'm being very... I was very cautious. You call it cautious. I call it weird, but... You're, yeah. you're cautious with me because yeah. you got in trouble. Because the charge with... for me was sexual assault of a minor under the age of 16. Well, I know. I remember we talked about that, but right. you didn't You didn't actually so... do anything, though. That They were all liars, weren't they? Well, yeah, he lied. Yeah, they're just and liars. He got caught in his lie, but it didn't matter. The, the accusation was still made. Yeah. And that follows you around for a long time. But you managed to fix it, though, right? Well, yeah, I did um, on the legal aspect. But 
now it's the uh, the personal side of it. It's it's still something that lingers. Yeah. People people know because the minute you're charged is posted in the newspaper. Oh, so then people like. So then people that know me and read the newspaper oh. know that I was charged with that charge. Oh. So it's, and then you got to explain it to but them. But wait a minute. I thought, and, hold on. I thought you said this happened in the United States. No, this happened here. In here? Yeah, here. I thought for some reason you said it happened uh, over there. No, not in the States, here in Canada. Oh. Okay, so then the the news talked about it and then they forgot about it. No, the news has talked about it and it's, it was posted in the newspaper. So all the people that I know, know. That it was a lie. Okay, but, and people that I, that know me, but I don't know them, know too. Oh, okay. Anyway, so but... it's, it, and then it's just like word of mouth, you know, people start talking and then it's like, oh, be careful. Don't go near that guy there. He got charged with sexual assault of a minor. Oh, yeah. So, it, I mean, it, it affects you. Uh, it's just luckily with me, it didn't affect my job because my boss has known me for years. Yeah. So he's like, no, sorry, I don't believe that. Um, I guess the thing that I want to know is, did did he get in trouble for lying? Oh, no, he got, no, 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 he walked off scot-free. Um, okay, hold on. Why didn't he get in trouble for lying? Because you can't lie about stuff like that. Because what happened was he came into the courtroom and saw that I had two lawyers, freaked out, and went to the prosecuting attorney and said that he didn't want to rehash the past and felt that he couldn't take the stand and relive what happened to him. Hmm. So he wanted to drop the charges. Okay, but like, what did he... What the fuck? So, he... so after the prosecuting attorney accepted his withdrawal, let him go. Then she was, we were still sitting in the courtroom because we still had to present it to the judge. And the prosecuting attorney came up to me and she says, "You do realize that if I'd have caught you in in any of this." that you were facing 14 years in prison and I threw my old phone down on the, the bench in front of her. And I said, and I, and I set up the text messages that he had sent me. And I said, well, I said, you would have lost anyways. And she was, what do you mean? I said, there's the old phone that I had when I was seeing him. And here's all the text messages. So all those things where he was saying that that uh, I forced him to have sex and and all that there is all right in here. How much of a great time he had and couldn't wait to do it again and, and all this other shit. And I said, take a look at the very first three or four text messages where I kept asking him if he really was 18 and he kept on saying yes, he was. So how old was he when you met him? He was he was sixteen, hmm. <clears throat> but he said it happened. He moved he moved a year back, another year, to try to say that it was before he turned sixteen, because under the age of sixteen you can't consent to sex. You cannot. You can't say yes or no. Nobody can say yes or no. What exactly? So no, hold if on. You're, if you're under the age of sixteen, oh, it, whether whether you say if you say you're fifteen, going on sixteen. Hello, and, that's me. And you wanted to have sex with me, and you said, "Hey, well, I, I want to have that. sex." Uh, and okay, and we did. That's against the law. 
You're yeah. under the age of 16, and 16 is the age of consent. Before that, you cannot consent to it. Even if you do, you can't. Oh. Yeah. So why why did he do all that? Did he say why? Did he say he just hated you? Like, did you break up with him or something? Uh, no, he just stopped talking to me about, uh, oh, I'm going to say seven seven or eight months later. Um, Everything was going great for seven or eight months there. We were seeing each other on a regular basis, and then all of a sudden he just ghosted me. Stopped answering messages and and everything, and I'm like, wow, okay. So I just went on with my life. What am I going to do, force him to talk to me? Yeah, well, no. And then, then, and then freaking eight years later, I get uh, a cop knocking on my door. Why did, you, why did the cops not well, gonna... they didn't come to my door. They called me. And uh, they called me and they asked me if I would come to the station. And I'm like, well, what do you need me to come to the station for? Well, there's allegations here that uh, um, that you had sexual uh, intercourse with a, with a minor. And uh, we want you to come down so we can arrest you. I'm like, well, I'll have to call you back. I need to call my lawyer. Well, yeah, if anyone ever, even if you do something or don't, you always got to check with a lawyer. Yeah, so I called my lawyer and he said, no, no, he said, go down. He said, let them do their thing and uh, we'll figure it out from there. So I did, I went down there and she puts this picture down in front of me there. and and she, And of course, she used a picture of when he was a lot younger. And, and she goes, uh, you know, this person that I went looks vaguely familiar. I said, but, uh, the person I'm thinking of and the person you're showing me, I said, uh, totally different ages. She goes, no, no, this is a picture of him when you, when you guys were having sex. And I went, no, 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 it wasn't. I said, neither here nor there. I said, uh, no, I don't recognize him. And I said, uh, I'm going to exercise my right to remain silent. So she kept questioning me, and I just kept on doing the same thing. No, I'm still going to remain silent. So after about five or six questions, I just said, look, I said, you keep on asking questions. I keep on telling you the same thing, and the answer is not going to change. I'm exercising my right to remain silent, so let's get this done. She says, okay, well, we're placing you under arrest for um, uh, allegations of sexual assault of a minor. And uh, so they did that. They put me in a cell. And then uh, they asked me who my lawyer was. So I gave him my lawyer's name. They called him. And then he came out, okay, all right. So we just got some paperwork for you to sign and we can release you. So I went and signed all the paperwork, and it was like, okay, so you can't go anywhere. You can't leave the county. Uh, anywhere you go, you have to notify us if you're leaving. And uh, no weapons, all that other bullshit. Uh, until your court date. And then I leave, and then I had to come back so that they could take mug shots and fingerprints. Are you there? Yeah, I know. I'm just listening. They tell yeah. You. So I did all that. And then a year and a half later, finally went to court. It got dropped. I threw everything in front of his, uh, pro uh, in front of the prosecuting attorney. And I said, here's all the text messages where he told me that he was above the age of 18. Uh, he was in his last year of high school. Um, the reason why he was 18 in high school is because he got held back. It was all in the text messages. And I said, so I said, I've got everything here. And I said, for the year that this happened, 
use all my um, messenger messages of when I moved into the place that he says that this happened. And I said, it's a year after what he's saying. Yeah. I, I said, I, well, I put him above the age of 16. So I didn't have sex with a person under the age of 16. He was over the age of 16. And he consented to it, as you can see in the messages. So I said, I wasn't facing anything. Oh, okay, all right. I didn't, I didn't know that you guys had all this. I said that's because I just found it. I said I knew my I had my phone somewhere, and I hadn't deleted anything. So hold on, if you didn't find the phone at like the last minute, like that could have went differently then. It could no, no, because no, because my messenger messages put him to the put it to where he was over the age of sixteen. Oh, yeah. So we were going to work it as his credibility. He lied Hold about on, so this. Are, we, are we talking about what, the, same the same guy? Or is this a different guy than the other guy? Same. What's that? Is this all the same guy? All the one guy, yeah. Okay, yeah. So then, yeah, then it found so out. So I said, like, I, I had my messenger messages, which showed that he lied about the year that it happened. So he deliberately did it so that he was under the age of 16 so he would get me for under the age of 16 as a minor yeah so um he couldn't they couldn't get me on that so i said like so where so it was his his um credibility he lied about the the year it happened so what's to say he's not lying about the rest of it yeah so um She's like, okay, all right, yeah, no, no, I get this. So she, uh, she goes, uh, you'll have no record once uh, everything is signed here. And I said, no, I said, the only thing is, I said, also I want a court order that all mug shots and fingerprints at the cop shop are to be destroyed. And I want to see it happen. Yeah, no, that's, that's yeah, you definitely want those to be gone. And she goes, well, why? I said, because there's no reason for them to have them there. And I said, the arrest record is to be deleted as well. She goes, but you're not being charged, so you're going to have no record. I said, but there'll be a record of me being arrested for sexual assault of a minor. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what you're getting at. I said, yeah. I said, I want it all gone. When they they did it all right, like they it's yep. all gone, so that's yep. good. Oh, so that's good. That's like clean slate, man. Everything's gone. Yep. That's good. Yep. Okay. No, I see why you're. You say the word cautious. I see why you're cautious, with us, and I understand, and I know that that's how we have to be. Yep. We gotta be careful. Well, yeah. Because <clears throat> I don't want to get in trouble either, so no, I don't no. want you to get in trouble, and I don't want to get in trouble. Yep. Because I like you. I want to make sure you're happy too. Well, yeah, exactly. Because you're my like you're my best friend. And with me, as much as as much as I make, um, how do you say, uh, I make sexual innuendos and stuff like that. There, um, I'm not the type of person that will just meet up with someone to have sex. What are you talking about, sexual innuendos? You never say anything sexual. I've said a couple things. No, you don't. Before. I've but, never heard uh, you say anything me, about sex. What's that? I've never heard you say anything about sex. Yeah, I've, I've, I've said a couple of things, but that was just, uh, how do you say, jokingly. Yeah, maybe to Zach you did, but not to fucking me. No, no. 
to you. I've, men- I've mentioned a couple of times, uh, just uh, it wasn't straight out talking about sex, but it was like talking about, you know, sausage and... <laughs> Sausages are funny. They look like yeah. things. So, but... No, with me, I'm a per- I'm a person where I want before I ever have sex with anybody, I want to have a connection. Cause you're an asexual, homosexual, yeah. <laughs> heterosexual. No, but I I want to I want to have a, I want to have a relationship where uh, is where everything is gradual. Well, that's how it should be. A lot of people nowadays is just oh let's let's meet up let's go hang out and their their hangout is code for let's have sex. Well, I mean that's all right, but as long as there's more to stuff than just doing stuff. Well, no, no. What I'm saying is, is that when they first meet, and they want to, and it's well, well, hey, let's hang out. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, that's code to them is that's code for, oh, let's, we're going to go have sex. Well, no, that's the hangout to me is a hangout. Yeah, it's a well, hangout. Go sit, chill, talk, do whatever, go for a walk, get to know each other. Get to know each other, brother. Because yeah. you don't want to be an undercover brother. You want to be a truthful brother. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Oh, no, I'm glad. No, that's all fucking dumb. So, hold on. What were you saying about that? Oh, no, you just recouped your money back. So, that's good. Yeah. No, I'm happy for you, man. You got your money back. Everything's going good. The records were, were ripped apart or whatever, the however they do that. And then... Yeah, it's dried. Their history. And then now we can drive off into the sunset together. Yeah. Uh. He's a smooth operator. Uh, so only one thing I don't like about this trailer. What? It doesn't have a bathtub. Who in their right mind wants to take a bath? Uh, me. I like to pour a tub of nice warm water and soak in it. Okay, come here. Let me tell you something, okay? Oh, hold on. That's hold on. Come a little closer. Let me tell you something. That how dangerous that is because when you're in a bathtub, you're just swimming around in your own fucking like feces and micro fucking dermis. Shower first. Okay, but tell that to the ninety thousand people in the fucking world that don't take a shower before they take a bath. <laughs> Most people just take that's baths. Like, that's like just you know going home from work. Taking your clothes off, get your shorts on, and climb into a hot tub. What's wrong with that? The water's so hot, wouldn't it fucking disinfect the fucking shit that gets in no. it? Plus the chemicals? Uh, it's not hot enough to do that. Oh my god, fuck. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm gonna fucking get off the phone, man. I'm getting tired of this shit. <laughs> okay, oh. all right. I'll talk to you later. Do you know that LASIK MD solves the stigmatism? Uh huh. Did you fucking know that? What's that? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. You're laughing. I'm laughing. I missed you, man. I missed you, too. All right, brother. I'm going to get off the phone there. Okay. Talk to you later, Chris. I'll talk to you later. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to sit. Listen. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to send you the videos. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And what the fuck are you going to do? I'm going to watch some TV. No, yeah. you're going to fucking take some fucking selfies of your fucking ugly ass because I want to see. Yeah. I want to see that you shaved your fucking face and shit. <laughs> Let me see that. I didn't, hand. I didn't shave it all off. I, okay. trimmed, like I, I shaved it. I made it nice and neat. Let me see that handsome man. It's not all bushy. Let me see that. Let me see what you look like. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. All right, bye. So there's a couple things to address of what was said. One of the things is uh, in any court proceeding, all evidence is gathered by police, distributed to detectives, investigated, brought forth in a package to a crown attorney, which is then presented into court. 
Um, it doesn't really work to the way of showing your cell phone to a judge or to a prosecutor or anybody in that room because they're not going to give a shit. All the evidence that was presented previous to would have been what was accounted for in terms of figuring out guilt or innocence. So that right there was bullshit. The other thing is, regardless if you're innocent or guilty, when you are charged for a crime while it's being investigated, let's say, and you have your mug shots taken, so you have your photos taken and your fingerprints, it's all digital now. Way back when, how we do remember it from television and programs is that you would stick your hand on that dye pack and then you would run your fingers over pieces of paper. Now it's all digital. Now it's they have a machine you place your palm on and an officer will direct you on for your each finger, so on and so forth. Um, those do not get deleted. That's, that's, that's not how that works and it's not is easy let's say that if it could happen that would be on a rare fucking circumstance of like some nelson mandela kind of shit that's like something it's just not gonna happen like that and a couple of the other things he was saying um about he was speaking about <laughs> the that the that the person was 18 later on at the time and then the 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 advancement in time in between court proceedings, this is something that he's had to explain to other people so you can tell that this is a fabricated story because of the way that his voice goes. Now I can tell that there is a little bit of a sway when it comes to the pitch of his voice because he's trying to use what we've talked about numerous times, which is deceptive manipulation. He's trying to throw the rug over the situation because, okay, again, he's had enough time to be able to manifest all of these different scenarios and things to try to make it the story in the direction that he wants it to be. But none of it makes fucking sense. And you can hear it in his fucking voice. But anyways, I'm done with this shit for now. I gotta go and see if he sends this fucking picture of himself. I wish I could show you that. And I've said this numerous times as well. The reason a lot of people will come into the chat rooms and things and they'll see a very boring or odd conversation happening. But it's all a means to be able to lower his defenses as he's doing to the child. So using the same ritual that a predator will use, but strategically using it against them. So we know through all the teachings and all the things that are out there on how a predator will lure and groom. Um, so knowing that you're able to flip the table by using the same deception against them. So when you know that they are going to try to use friendship forming to lower vulnerabilities in order to alley your, your, your fears and your feelings, you're able to do the same to them as well by showing that you're vulnerable and establishing to them that you trust them, which distracts them, which makes it so that they believe that you are getting closer to them, like they are superior to you because there's a little bit of a tug of war complex kind of thing there as well where they try to meet the child or the young teen on their level in terms of the child's uh, educational background, let's say likes, dislikes, and different things like that. And that typically is seen through not only, more commonly it's gift giving, but it, it typically can be seen also through compliments. Uh, you're hot, you're sweet, you're cute, you're smart. Um, all of those different things that they see that the child may feel insecure about. I mean, this is just a very complex thing to explain all in one second, but Oh, I'm not a detective. No, I'm not a police officer. I'm nothing like that. But I'm going to go.
and uh, we will meet back again here at some point soon, unfortunately. But until then, I'm going to continue talking with him and see where this takes us. I want to thank everybody that came into the room and joined in. Um, I hope that, if anything, there were some people that learned a few things in order to be able to help. He just sent the pictures. He looks like Heisenberg still. It's crazy. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do tonight um, with corresponding with him as well as there's a few other things which that I cannot mention to you right now. Um, but as I said previous, I did drive out to the area that I said that I was going to. So from Oakville, the only thing I can say is that it was an hour and 45 minute drive each way. And I found that trailer that he sent the pictures of. So I know the general location that he's going to be for the next two weeks while he's working. Um, it's just formulating a plot, uh, some sort of a plan, let's say, um, to how that is going to unfold. But until next time, I'm going to go, you're going to go and have a good day. Happy fucking Easter.